Katie Jacy here, a makeup artist with High Lovely. So today I have a three-step polished eye for you guys. So this is an eye you can wear out and about to work every day and you can get it in just three steps. So let's get started. All right, lovelies, before we move on to our three steps, we're gonna prime our eyes first. So I'm using a concealer as an eyeshadow primer. It's the Ket Fix Cream Makeup. And what this is gonna do is give our shadows something to stick to and add staying power. Next, grab a medium-sized eyeshadow brush. So I'm using the Esum Medium Shadow Brush. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay down a base color. So this color is gonna set the tone for the rest of the eye. I'm using a warm nude to create more of an everyday eye. But if you wanted to bump this up to a smoky eye, just use a smokier color like a soft gray. Next, grab a fluffy crease brush. I'm using the Esum Medium Round Eye Contour Brush. And now that we've done all of our prep work for our eye, we're gonna start our step one, which is to deepen. So what I mean by this is to add depth to the eyes by creating a shadow in the crease of the eye. So if you don't know where your crease is, just feel around for where there's that hollow on your eyelid, and that's gonna be your crease. If you don't really have a defined crease, you can always deepen your lash line and take this step and do it at the lash line as opposed to the crease. So you're just gonna fill the crease in with a medium toned shadow to add the depth to the eye. Our second step is going to be to highlight the eye. So the places you're gonna highlight is under your brow bone, the inner corner of your eye, and then just a touch on the middle of your lid. And what this is going to do is it's going to pull light to certain parts of the eye and make the eye pop, as well as it adds contrast to that shadow that we created in our crease, which is going to work together to add shape and depth to the eye. You can use any medium to small sized brush for this. I used the Issa Medium Filbert Shader Brush. Grab your favorite eyeliner of choice and move on to step three, which is to define the eye. So we're gonna be lining our upper lash line, which adds definition to the eye, as well as makes our lashes look fuller and thicker. I'm gonna be using a pencil liner for this. I like to use a pencil for an everyday eye because it's a little quicker than having to be meticulous with a liquid liner or a gel liner, and it adds a little bit of a softer look than a liquid would. I'm using a deep chocolate brown color to go with my neutral warm color palette. Also in this look, I'm only gonna be lining the upper lash line. I'm doing this because one, I'm creating a more natural everyday look, and two, for my eyes personally, I always think it looks a little better without the bottom liner because it keeps my eyes more open instead of closing them off. But if you love bottom liner or want to create a smokier look, then go ahead and add that as well. And of course, to finish off the whole look, we need some mascara. I like to do two coats, that's my magic number, but as much or as little as you guys want, I'm using Kevin Aquan The Mascara. You've gotta love that legendary mascara face we all make, but it's just necessary, especially for those bottom lashes. And that's our finished look. Just to review, your three steps were to deepen, highlight, and define. Hope you guys enjoyed this three steps to a polished eye tutorial. We'll see you next time and thanks for watching. Bye lovelies.